Today in this video, we are going to talk about the second supermarket here, Prisma. As I mentioned in the previous video, it's uh, more expensive than Lidl, but less expensive than Cool Market. So let's put on mask and go to Prisma. When you come to Prisma, you can see that it's much, much, much bigger than Lidl. And first of all, we have some frozen products here like vegetables and pizzas and something else. We also have nuts there and a lot of a lot of vegetables again. Further, you also will be able to see fish, chickens and other things. Then we come to the vegetable fruit section, let's call it like this. And I won't pay attention a lot to different things here, but I usually uh, buy tangerines here, oranges, bananas, I think they cost like one euro. And yeah, and that's it. If I need cabbage, I buy it here and potatoes also I buy here. Notice that here you should weigh everything you take and you should put this number. 197 is here. It's the number for a potato. And here we have some sushi and uh, it's rather expensive here. So let's go further. Uh, here we have meat that you can weigh and take fish, some, some cooked food. Then here is the section of meat. We have a lot of meat here. And I want you to pay attention to these labels, minus 30%. And I want you to remember this little secret that I will reveal right now, that after eight o'clock, it would be not minus 30%, it would be minus 60%. So I really recommend you to come to Prisma after 8 and find something for the better price. So we have fish also here. There were a lot of discounts during this day. Yeah, this one is a good one, by the way. There is a great variety of meat here. You can buy anything actually here. Prisma has a section with sport things and here are chips. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that they are in front of sport products. <laughs> and of course they have this section of vitamins as I have already said that every supermarket has it. And here we go to the section of uh, ready products that you can buy here. It's like salads, sandwiches, something that you just need to um, heat in the microwave. What else? Like soups. I think I took only one soup from here when um, it was like an urgent situation and it was okay, but I usually buy um, not ready products and cook by myself. Uh, I recommend you to take this butter, Valio Voy. Voy is the butter, I understood it only after two months has been here. <laughs> I take this Smetana, I don't know whether foreigners know what it is. Actually, I thought it's a Russian product. Uh, also, there are a lot of dairy products. These are lactose-free wipes. And if you drink normal milk, not lactose-free, you can buy this one, it's cheap and rather good. Here are different kinds of yogurts, and I'd like to say that the Finland, and I think that actually the whole Europe, is very, very friendly for lactose-free people, because in Russia we don't have such a variety of products without lactose. 
And what about cheese? You should definitely try this one. Uh, Oltermani. Yeah, uh, this is very tasty. Another one is Emmental. It's also very tasty. I'm not a cheese lover, but these ones, they impressed me. Uh, I usually take these yogurts. They are cheap and tasty, but they are not lactose free uh, and this almond milk but be careful one is without sugar and one is with sugar i usually take with because it's tasty uh, i usually take this one this one has more fat and the white one has less fat but and here we have eggs i take this once yeah you're at 39 uh, they also have this ones, but I don't know what's the difference, they're just more expensive. They have their own bakery here, a lot of sweets, uh, yeah, bread, and here is uh, a great <laughs> variety of drinks there, I won't really go there because I don't see the purpose, it's too too much. And here are muesli. These one are expensive but very tasty. This one are cheaper but also very tasty. Chocolate and strawberry are my favorites. A lot of cans of fish. This one is very good without salt. And see what you can find here. It's hidden, but I guess that Russian people will see it at once. It's zgushonka or condensed milk. Yeah, it's very tasty. Then the rice, uh, Uncle Ben, I think is more expensive and it's rather good. And this one, Rainbow, is cheaper mm, and it's also okay. And here we have uh, marmalades and different sweets that you can weigh and take. Believe me, these ones are the tastiest ones. And here we go to the cashier. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it was interesting for you. And if you want to know more about Finland and live here, then uh, just write down in comments what are you interested in and I will try to cover this theme in my next videos.